or Surumba. His exact date of birth is unknown, but is presumed to be around 1821 in Umudu, Ora, a present-day Olu region, Imo State, Nigeria. Jaja was sold as a slave at the age of 12 in Bonnie and was named Jubo Jubuga by his master and later renamed as Jaja by the British. He grew up learning the job values and practices of his new home and maximized the limited opportunities as a slave to quickly grasp his master's trade of palm oil. Jaja, a man of Igbo descent and given the name Mbanaso Ukwara Uzurumba, is but is presumed to be around 18 in Umudu Ora, a present day Olu region, Imo State, Nigeria. Jaja was sold as a slave at the age of 12 in Bonnie and was named Jubo Juboga by his master and later renamed as Jaja by the British. He grew up learning the job values and practices of his new home and maximized the limited opportunities as a slave to quickly grasp his master's trade of palm oil, subsequently garnering invaluable business skills and acumen. Jaja was resold by his bonnie slave master to Chief Alali, the head of the Opubo Anga People Royal House, a socio-political institution functioning as the unit of a city-state. He settled quite well and soon became leader of the Royal House overseeing the administration of all its affairs. His rise from a slave boy to a decorated king showed Jaja Opubo was an exceptional leader and businessman. His tenacity and doggedness, even in the face of persecution and imprisonment, earned him respect, dignity, and favor. His statue stands tall in the center of a Pobo town, bearing the inscription, A king in title and in deed, always just and generous.